Okay, now here's a tricky one. We're going to add a second application, uh, sort of a sub-application to our main installer. So, as you can see here, I'm now in the file folder number 5 in our source file slash files folder. And we've got an additional um, item here in our folder over the last few lessons, and that's the quickstartvideo.exe. And if you run that, I don't know how this will show up on the tutorial okay, video. Let's take a look at how we can use our Indigo Rose software. But as you can see here on the screen, hopefully, it's running a instructional video uh, for our for using our forum feed application. So I'm going to shut that down here, and that's something that we're going to add to our main application. We'll add an option for people to run that. And what we're going to do here is start up Setup Factory again from scratch, and we're going to build our application similarly to the way we have been. So we'll cre create a new project, press the next button. We'll browse to the number five folder now this time in our source files folder and then we're going to press next we'll go through this process and we're going to go ahead now and add our folders just like we've been doing it all along keep everything intact and there we go we've got our project and it's ready to go now the difference between this and our last project of course is that secondary application there now there's a couple different ways that you can handle this but let's just go ahead and look at the simplest way what we're gonna do here is sort of amalgamate what we've been learning all along as we go too so let's go ahead and add a desktop shortcut for our application by double clicking on IR forum XE going into the shortcuts tab clicking on the desktop uh, checkbox and then changing the description okay so this is part of what we did in the last lesson and this is just sort of by way of review so we can remember what we're doing. Let's go ahead and create a desktop shortcut for our video axi as well. We'll go to the shortcut, shortcuts tab and we're going to go ahead and click the desktop checkbox and then we're going to change the title here to quick start video. Okay. And we've already got a link for this into the start menu app folder. That's good. We'll leave that. And then we're going to go ahead and create a shortcut in the app folder for the quick start PDF as well. Okay, so we've been doing that sort of as we go and then we'll just rename that quick start PDF. So all our shortcuts are set up. That's all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and add that web link to the end of our installer again. We'll put all the bells and whistles in this one. So we're clicking on the on shutdown area of the actions uh, area on the left here and then we're going to go ahead and type in here a file open URL action. Okay and we'll just again type in a string which is our website address and then we're going to specify the way that we would like the window to appear and in this case of course we're just gonna go show normal okay there we go now we've set this up so that when we install this people are actually going to be able to run that quick start video from the program menu or from the desktop shortcut that appears afterwards so let's go ahead and build this and take a look at how it works Gonna open our folder, we'll go through the install process, and here we go. Oops. There we go. Press next. Go with our defaults here and let it install. And as you can see our website opens up because we put our web link at the end of the installer. So that's great, we know that's working. Now let's go ahead onto our desktop and take a look at what we've got there. We've got a couple of different uh, shortcuts here. We've got one to our main application and one to this video. Let's go ahead and click the video shortcut and see what happens. As you can see, it starts up our training video perfectly well, and everything's perfect. Okay, so that's our secondary application added. Now let's look in our program menu. Under Headline Grabber, you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff now. We've got the Headline Grabber, the Quick Start PDF, the Quick Start Video, and the Uninstall link. If we click on the Quick Start Video, again, it opens up, and everything's perfect. Now, in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and add a new level of complexity to this. We're going to make that video portion of the install optional by creating what we call packages. Okay, so the user is going to be able to select at runtime whether or not they would like to install that video. So typically, you see that with a lot of professional installers where they allow you to install a minimum package 
or a maximum package or a typical package or a custom package and so forth. So let's go ahead on to the next video lesson and take a look at that. But for now, that's a good example of how we would add a secondary application to our main installer. So you're not limited by only one XE application in each installer is the main point that we want everybody to get here. You can actually go ahead and add as many XEs as you need um, and you can go ahead and create shortcuts for them and so on and so forth and the setup factory is going to go ahead and install everything to the proper folders with everything intact, the structure and everything's going to run perfect at runtime. As you can see, it only takes a couple minutes and it's super reliable. None of our installers that we've built so far have had any problems whatsoever. So let's go ahead on to the next video lesson where we will make the installation of this quick start video optional.